fuck is that? If I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Only one left. <laughs> Ryan's stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. I've never done this before, Pa. Let's do it fast, that's it.
doesn't feel safe. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, let's not, um... You know, let... What are we gonna do? We're fucked. We're, we're really fucked. We don't even know what's out there. There's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh... Helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should... I think that we should listen to her. Inside. Okay, I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Make your choice.
Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. <laughs>
Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Okay? Are you serious? You just left me to fucking die, Lord. Do you really care if I'm okay? God. I don't know what to say, Max. I I was terrified out of my mind. I I don't know what it was thinking. I guess I can't expect you to think clearly in a situation like, well, whatever that was. I'm sorry. I'll get over it. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get the fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! something in here you can use.
While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He just... he asked a lot of dumb questions. All right, I don't know. Would you get off my back? Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Like, some kind of setup, a, a, a trap, I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? 
They knew we were coming. Maybe it's... some kind of kidnapping, extortion... conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. First, we're gonna get the hell out of this mess and enjoy the rest of summer, and then college. I mean, if we're gonna freaking crush it at orientation, we gotta get all our classes down. Laura. Did you look at all the options, by the way? I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I just need the classes that'll let me major in veterinary sciences. Laura. You're undecided, so you have to make sure you get a really good balance of Laura. everything. Stop. Why? I... I didn't get in. What? I got rejected from the waitlist. Why didn't you tell me? I... I was embarrassed. But... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max! What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This... this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here, for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's, like, nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? 
Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, let her finish, man. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so... Let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. 
I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So... Alright, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's gotta have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money, lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I said... Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Oh, I'm kind of stuck next to this big-ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Max, 
Max? Max? Tell me what's going on! So much for depth perception. Let's see what that bop's hiding. Locked. Figures. But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. see hiding.
I need to rest soon. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. July 7th. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. I need to lie down. Mama's boy. Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. What are you hiding, Travis? Hello? Not so much a hint as a slap in the face.
weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators? Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Well, see so you made yourself at home. That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes? Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. What's this? An education. Watch. <laughs> nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean... It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, 
I'm not, and I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know, just cause you know, doesn't mean you know, you know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. So, how is your family involved? My family... ...is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down at the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you, you're the one at the top of the well with a rope and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Just forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver, and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight, or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Hmm. Kill the werewolf that bit you, and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think.
If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so, I'm, I, I was, when I- Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not, you... they're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. So what's the plan? That's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him. About... the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It's not like you could have done anything to stop it from happening. It's not like you're in control. Right? Right. Yeah. You're... You're not in control? Of course not. Fuck. Laura, what are you saying? I'm just trying to make sense of it. That's all. I didn't mean anything by it. Jesus. You said let me in there. Chris. I know they're in there. Who? The counselors that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I bet one of them, Chris. What was I supposed to do? <sighs> what was that? Nothing. Mistaken. Could have been a whole lot of You shot me. I'm telling Mom. Make your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep him here forever. I am handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb, and Are you those know those hikers it. and that, that, that 
fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. Shh, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother! God, it's so obvious! If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Laura? Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura? Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. Shut up. Keys. Laura? Laura? I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. <sighs> what should we do about Sergeant Little Dick? Let's give him some alone time. Let him think about why he's in here. Okay. Huh. Huh. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks No, I, I still can. It's coming from behind that door.
There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> no, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but... Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. And I made my way here, to camp. Left, left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait, the island? Like, like our island, like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob... He went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there, and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... Max? Ah! Hello?
So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Smell good, don't I? Go on, take a bite. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. That's too, Bobby. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. 
I look forward to that as long as you follow the right path, of course. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Wow, rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. I said shut up. You've done enough talking. Okay, okay so you talk. Say what you gotta say. Brian, maybe this is a bit much. I mean, just think about everything that's happened tonight. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? just reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago, and now she sort of roams the darkness waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. You've seen her. No. I don't know. But I heard this thing back at the police station, a, a podcast. Zarya Bonafide? Yeah, that's it. It looks like Travis was keeping an eye on it. Why? Maybe it's more than a story. Look, all I can tell you for sure is that whatever's happening at Hackett's Quarry runs deeper than you know. Just gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. So, come on, where does Chris Hackett live when he's not at camp, I mean? What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer we're gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going.
Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Have you actually been there before? I mean, n no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H? You're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? I should ask you the same thing. What do you mean? Why are you really here? I can't let you just shoot him. I'm not going to. I'm going to shoot a werewolf, which he definitely is, by is the way. Is not. Is too. It's not. Jesus. There it is. Hack your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Will you stop protecting him? Whose side are you on? At this point, I have no fucking idea. There is a lot more to this than you realize. Like what? Kidnapping. Murder. Cover-ups. I think the whole goddamn Hackett family is in on it. Maybe the whole camp. Maybe even you, for all I know. Yeah, great. Just walk away. Oh, I'm sorry. I just figured that instead of standing around listening to you complain, I'd actually try to find another way across. Have died, but we didn't. It's nothing, you'll be fine. And you don't look delicious to me yet, so I guess that means we still have time. Come on, let's find a way up. It's not funny, it's a bit funny. Oh, my God, Laura, Jesus, Mary, and Jazz Hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit! Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? Shit. We haven't got much time.
This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense. These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. They can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Just look at this place. Oh! I could really do with a hamburger right about now. Stop being weird. <sighs> oh boy, this is I. Whoa. Do you think, actually, something is in here with us? Either that, or this route isn't as disused as we thought. A long way down. Well, where's Cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. 
you get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, until now. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin? Is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. Yeah, she, she has the hearts for me. Dylan does too. Oh, modesty, thy name is Ryan. I'm not being smug about it, it's just a fact. They're not exactly secretive about it. So what about you? Who do you like more? I don't know. Maybe neither. This way, I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here, up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Promising. Careful, splinters. Thanks, I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the Hackett's were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they branched out. Come on. Time travel later. I think this is it? Uh, beats me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? Uh, what happened here? Eh, it's complicated. Gosh. I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds cold. <laughs> but you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? The cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. Weird fantasy. <laughs> A ski vacation does sound pretty nice right about now, though, huh? You ever been skiing? <laughs> Don't know the first thing about it. A couple trips down the bunny slope, you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> well, then, we better get this van up and running, then, huh? Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy.
Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're gonna find it. That sounds like a long shot. Got something better to do? Not die? Yeah, I'd like that too, by getting the hell out of here. Okay, well just because you're using logic to make sense doesn't mean that I'm totally into it. What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. What the hell happened to you anyway? Uh, it's a long story, Miles. You always got a long story. Come on, fine. Ow. Oh, get up. Stay down. This is an old still. I guess business was booming. Jeez, poor kid. Head this big? Who's Bobby? Jacob. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? It's electrophone. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Ma, 
Uh, <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. God damn it. No. No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. You goddamn piece of shit. Not my little Kaylee. God damn you. What did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? You're done. Hey, let her go. Hey, Ma, send Bobby down. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Hopefully you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The Empress. Look at her. <laughs> Those at the top can fall the hardest. Such a shame to nurture little monsters, only to live long enough to watch them kill you. <laughs> but it's no less than she deserves. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. Details. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. You still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. 